Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns savagely destroy each other, re Ripley to enter the men's Royal Rumble match, Cody Rhodes' Royal Rumble return set to fail, Bobby Lashley on The Rock's WWE return, Sami Zayn in trouble with the bloodline, WWE slammed for booking Bray Wyatt weekly. Let's jump right into it. Re Ripley to enter the men's Royal Rumble match. WWE Raw superstar Re Ripley recently stated she was open to entering the men's Royal Rumble match next week as it could be a lot of fun. It's no secret that the Judgment Day member doesn't shy away from stepping up to male superstars, be it Solo Sokoa, Akira Tozawa, Luke Gallows, and more. Though all three of her stablemates are male, it is Ripley who sends the most shivers down the spine of the faction's rivals on Raw. As such, many have expressed their desire to see her step inside the men's Royal Rumble match come January 28th. During an exclusive interview with Sportskeeter Wrestling, Rhea Ripley said she would love to participate in the contest. The Eradicator cited the example of Beth Phoenix, who famously appeared in the men's Rumble match in 2010 and eliminated the great Kali as someone she grew up admiring. Ripley added that she would love to fill Phoenix's shoes and continue the women's revolution by showing up in the men's Royal Rumble. I mean, yeah, I would love to enter the men's Royal Rumble. I would love to, it'll be a lot of fun. It's a history-making thing, especially having someone like Beth Phoenix, whom I looked up to as a kid. I loved her, I related to her body-wise. So just trying to fill the shoes of someone like Beth Phoenix and help this women's evolution, I think I would love to step into the men's Royal Rumble, I think it'll be a lot of fun," said Rhea Ripley. Though the former Raw Women's Champion entering the men's Royal Rumble is still a mystery at the moment, she's the favorite to win the women's edition. According to Skybet, the Eradicator is leading with 8 11 odds, followed by Becky Lynch with 9 over 4 and Bayley with 8 over 1 odds to win. This doesn't come as a surprise, as Ripley is one of the most dominant performers on the female roster, who seldom loses. The former Raw Women's Champion last fought in a singles match against Candice LeRae on the January 9th episode of Raw. Rhea Ripley seems destined to have a marquee match at WrestleMania 39, regardless of what goes down at the January 28th Premium Live event. Are you excited to see Ripley possibly enter the Men's Royal Rumble match? Sound off in the comments section below. Rhea Ripley challenges Charlotte Flair. Rhea Ripley recently discussed whether she challenged Charlotte Flair or Bianca Belair at WWE WrestleMania 39 if she wins the Women's Rumble match. The Eradicator is the favorite to win this year's edition of the Women's Rumble match. Though many other top stars like Becky Lynch and Bayley are also scheduled to participate, Ripley has been on a roll in recent months. A Judgment Day member is riding on a positive wave of momentum, which is expected to culminate in her standing tall and pointing at the WrestleMania sign at Royal Rumble. Speaking to Sportskeeter Wrestling, Ripley discussed who she'll challenge for a marquee title clash at WrestleMania 39 if she wins the Rumble. The Eradicator noted that although she has wrestled SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair in the past, they are yet to have a big blow-off match. That's a tough question. If I would win the Royal Rumble, they both are competitors I would love to go to WrestleMania against. I have done my time with Charlotte, we have had massive matches. But I don't think there was this big blow-off match we had. So maybe Charlotte, said Ripley. As for Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley feels they both have a lot in common and could put up a great match. She added that she'd have a lot to think about if she emerged victorious on January 28. But then there's also Bianca, someone whom I have come up with an NXT with and we are very very similar in a lot of different ways and we know each other the back of our heads so I think that would be such a great match for WrestleMania. So if I win the Royal Rumble, I'll have a lot of thinking to do. Though it remains to be seen if a clash between Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley materializes, the former is busy feuding with Sonya Deville for now. Though the Queen retained her SmackDown Women's title against Deville on the Blue Brand's January 6th episode, the latter wants another shot at the gold. Even on this week's Friday Night Show, the seeds for a rematch between them were sown when Sonya Deville attacked Charlotte. A recent report, too, suggested that another match between the two performers could be in the pipeline. While there's little to no chance that Deville would dethrone Charlotte Flair as the SmackDown Women's Champion, she could take her to the limits. Cody Rhodes' Royal Rumble return set to fail Bobby Lashley recently opened up about the return of Cody Rhodes at WWE Royal Rumble 2023, saying the latter had a lot to prove to himself. While fans were expecting WWE to keep Cody's return during the Men's Royal Rumble match a secret, they made it official last week on Raw. Within no time, the American Nightmare became an outright favorite of most fans to win the bout. Another Raw superstar who's a frontrunner to win is Bobby Lashley, who recently discussed the much-hyped return of Cody Rhodes to WWE. Speaking to Sportskeeter Wrestling, the Almighty stated that the former AEW TNT champion had a lot to prove to himself. Bobby Lashley also spoke about Cody's chances of winning the Royal Rumble, saying that since only one out of 30 opponents emerges victorious, the match can go in any direction. Does he have a lot to prove? I don't know. He's been injured for a while. Okay, he just said he was coming back. I think he has a lot to prove to himself. I know that he wants to do big things, and I know he has talked about how winning the title is on his bucket list. So, of course, if he's coming into the Royal Rumble, he's gunning to win it. 
but only one person can win, so this may not be the Royal Rumble for him, said Lashley. The former WWE champion then praised the American Nightmare for his series of matches with Seth Rollins last year. He also reserved special praise for the visionary, saying one can't have anything but great bouts with him. In closing, Bobby Lashley added that he was excited to see what lies ahead for Cody Rhodes. I'm not saying I'm gonna win it that easy, but it's gonna be challenging for him. But yeah, I think he has a lot to prove. He's been having some amazing matches since coming back. Being with Seth, you can't have but an amazing match. But I'm really interested in seeing what Cody does moving forward, added Bobby Lashley. A few days back on Sportskeeter Wrestling's Legion of Raw, Vince Russo stated that Cody Rhodes might not win the men's Rumble match. The former WWE writer feels since Cody could have ring rust due to being away, the promotion might take it slow before pushing him. Russo added that WWE could have the American Nightmare feud with whoever eliminates him from the Royal Rumble match. I don't think he's gonna win the Royal Rumble. I think they want to get him in a program because he's gonna have a lot of rust. He hasn't wrestled in a long time, I think they're gonna probably put him in a program before they elevate him. So that would mean that whoever eliminates him from the Royal Rumble, he could be in a program with that guy, work with that guy, get all the ring rust out and then stop moving them up the ladder again. Whether or not Cody Rhodes wins, it's safe to say he's set to have an impressive showing at the January 28th Premium Live event. Bobby Lashley on The Rock's WWE Return Raw superstar Bobby Lashley recently shared his thoughts on The Rock's rumored return to WWE to compete at WrestleMania 39. For months, fans have been speculating about the possibility of the Brahma Bull challenging his cousin Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at WrestleMania. Though the Hollywood megastar's status for the event is still uncertain, it's safe to say the buzz surrounding it has been sky-high. Speaking to Sportskeeter Wrestling, Bobby Lashley discussed The Rock's rumored comeback. He stated that it makes sense for the legend to return at WrestleMania 39, Hollywood and believes it could bring a lot of eyeballs to WWE. The Rock is a huge star, so, of course, if he comes back, it's gonna bring a lot of notoriety to us. And being in Hollywood this year, I think there would be a good opportunity that he may be back. I don't know, I have been asked several times if The Rock is coming back, said Lashley. However, Lashley made it clear he had no idea if The Rock was returning, saying he didn't even know what he's himself supposed to do next month. We don't know anything. I don't even know what I'm doing next month. So I can't really tell you what The Rock is doing. But of course, everybody would love to see The Rock, he's a huge star. So if he comes back, it'll be good for all of us, added Bobby Lashley. Considering just how influential The Rock is, several performers are interested in getting inside the ring with him. One of them is Bobby Lashley himself. A few months back, The Almighty spoke about a potential matchup with The Rock at WrestleMania 39. The former WWE champion stated that the Great One was an iconic figure and that a clash with him could be a big money draw. There's always some big names in the business and no matter what, I mean this is not my matchup, but The Rock is always huge, iconic figure. I think there's other people that are more in line. Brock is always a big one but you know this scene is always there. You know for me it's always the big matches. Everybody wants a good match, said Lashley. With Royal Rumble mere days away, fans are hoping to see The Rock possibly show up in the men's Rumble match to set up a clash with Roman Reigns. Sami Zayn in trouble with the bloodline. The bloodline has been the talk of the town ever since Kevin Owens got inside the head of Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn. According to a new report, the honorary use might be in trouble as the acknowledgement ceremony is now changed to the trial of Sami Zayn. Last year, Sami Zayn worked his way into wooing the bloodline and became an honorary use for the group. He proved himself on numerous occasions and followed every order that was given to him by Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman on WWE SmackDown. However, Zayn's been in murky waters ever since Kevin Owens began trying to get inside the tribal chief's head. Last night, the prizefighter took out the entire stable on his own with the exception of Paul Heyman and Sami Zayn, and signed the contract for his upcoming match. According to a new report from PW Insider, the acknowledgement ceremony for the bloodline has been changed. Instead, the trial of Sami Zayn will be held on the Red Brand's 30th anniversary episode to decide the honorary use's future with the stable. It looks like WWE is finally pulling the trigger on where the head of the table will kick Zayn out of the group. Last year, the Usos defeated RK Bro to win the Raw Tag Team Championships and unified the titles which allowed them to appear on both shows. Earlier this year, Triple H decided to separate the belts once again. The Judgment Day then became the new number one contender for the title on the Red Brand. Last Monday, both teams came face to face inside the squared circle for the first time. Dominic Mysterio and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day will be facing Jimmy and Jey Usos for the titles. It will be interesting to see if the Judgment Day can secure the Raw Tag Team Championships by defeating the longest reigning tag team champions in the company's history. Do you think the Bloodline will end its alliance with Sami Zayn on WWE Raw? Sound off in the comments section below. WWE slammed for booking Bray Wyatt Weekly Former WWE manager Dutch Mantel bashed WWE for the poor booking of Bray Wyatt and Ella Knight. On the most recent episode of Friday Night Smackdown, Knight faced Greg Jones in a singles matchup. 
Following the bout, The Fiend made his appearance from the dark and warned Ella Knight about their upcoming match at the Royal Rumble Premium Live event. While speaking on the latest edition of Sportskeeter Wrestling's Smack Talk, Mantel mentioned that he is not quite interested in the first ever pitch black match between The Fiend and Knight. He further added that only time would tell how the match would turn out to be. But hey, it's a pitch black match and I'm interested in seeing what they do and if it's good I'll say it's good and if it's bad, I'll say it's just. I agree with you guys that I hated the whole concept but I don't hate the concept, so we'll see, we'll see. That's why they have these pay-per-views to see what they are going to do, said Mantel. Jim Cornette recently criticized Bray Wyatt for not being able to hype up his match against Ella Knight at Royal Rumble. Speaking on Jim Cornette's drive through the veteran discussed Wyatt's promo from last week and pointed out how The Fiend mentioned Knight's name only once throughout the promo. He further noted how Wyatt didn't give a description of the match and thus was not able to get anyone excited for his upcoming bout. He mentioned Ella Knight's name once in this promo saying when the lights go out you should run. So apparently it's going to be a dark match of some description with very faint lighting. Otherwise we have no idea what the rules are or the stipulations or whatever and he didn't spend it all getting us excited about it, did he? Said Jim Cornette. It will be exciting to see if Bray Wyatt and Ella Knight can put on a good show at Royal Rumble or not. Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns savagely destroy each other. Bray Wyatt sent out a cryptic tweet following Roman Reigns' big return at SummerSlam. At the biggest party of the summer 2020, Roman Reigns made a surprise return and turned heel in the process. The Tribal Chief launched a brutal beatdown on Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman as the show went off the air. Shortly after Reigns' beatdown, Bray Wyatt took to Twitter and sent a three-word cryptic message. Here's what he wrote, it never forgets. SummerSlam 2020's vicious beatdown wasn't enough for Reigns. He was eyeing Wyatt's universal title on SmackDown. Seven days after the events of SummerSlam, the Tribal Chief met Wyatt and Braun Strowman in a triple threat match for the universal title at Payback 2020. The ending to the match saw Reigns pinning Strowman to win the coveted belt. It has been 850 plus days since Roman Reigns' universal title win at Payback. He still holds the belt and also added the WWE Championship to his arsenal last year after he defeated Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 38. Wyatt was released by the company in a major shocker in mid-2021. He didn't step foot in the ring following his WWE release and was finally brought back by Triple H last year at Extreme Rules. The former Universal Champion is all set to wrestle Ella Knight in a Mountain Dew pitch black match at Royal Rumble 2023. The last time Wyatt wrestled at a major WWE event was way back in 2021, when he lost to Randy Orton at WrestleMania 37. Reigns and Wyatt are arguably two of the biggest superstars on the roster at present. The two men are bound to collide somewhere down the line. Fans would love to see a full-fledged feud between Reigns and Wyatt on WWE TV. It has been more than two years since Reigns return and heel turn. Have you enjoyed the Tribal Chief's character so far? Blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take 